Let's have a quick talk about wind chill before we dive in. So wind chill is it's quite a large, broad, deep uh, family of products. So on the PLM side, the product lifecycle management side of wind chill, then we have core capabilities around MCAT and ECAT data management, document management processes around that content as well, such so as change and configuration, bond management, things like that. So traditional PLM. What we're going to focus on today is slightly different, and it's a part of the family that can be operated either as a standalone suite of tools or it can be integrated into the broader PLM suite. And it's basically this risk and reliability management piece that we see here on the slide. So if we look a little bit deeper at risk and reliability in terms of what core capabilities we have inside of Windshield, Inside the windshield quality suite, there are a range of tools that can be used for QMS and quality process, etc. Some of which are available inside the traditional windshield PLM suite. So things like CAPA, audit, customer management, non-conformance. Okay, they're inside the traditional PLM side of windshield. What we're going to focus on today is a risk and reliability suite, which includes the capabilities and modules that you see on screen here. So you can see there's a whole range of modules that are available and they can be purchased and used a la carte as well. So when you use risk and reliability or you purchase risk and reliability, you basically select the modules that you need. So if you only want to do FMEA, for example, then you can just take that piece. Um, what we're going to focus on today from this suite are the, the modules highlighted here. So basically um, prediction analysis, uh, reliability block diagram or RBD, FMEA, um, fault tree analysis or FTA, and then fracas as well. 